Hello, Father Vito here. Greetings from Sacramento, California. Happy New Year. Feliz Año Nuevo. I hope that this new year will bring you hope, consolation, freshness of life, health, and also brings you joy. Today we celebrate the new year. New year means new beginning, new hope, a gleam of hope in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And also the feast day of the Theotokos. Mary, our mother, is God's bearer, which is Jesus Christ himself. I will be meditating on the Gospel of Luke chapter 2, 16 to 21. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they saw, they had been known, saying, which had been told them concerning this child. And all who have heard it wonder, and what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart, as it had been told them. And the end of the eight days, he was circumcised. He was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. A beautiful gospel, the name Jesus. What is the significance of a name? Name is really important, not only the new millennial or the new era of modernity, but it is really important in the Jewish people before and after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. For the Jewish people, the giving of name had a great importance. Why? When a name was given, it represented what that person should be in the future. And a no name meant that someone could not be completely known. Do not acknowledge someone's name meant both denial of a person, destruction of their personality, and change in their destiny. That's why name, nombre, is really important. It is the part of the culture. A person's name expresses the reality of his or her being at its deepest level. A Jewish male child was named at the time of circumcision, eight days after birth. That's part of the Jewish culture. This rite was instituted by God as an outward sign to single out to those who belong to the chosen people, the people of Israel the people of God, and we are part of that people, the chosen people of God. It was a sign of the covenant that God made with Abraham and his posterity. The name Jesus, we hear that all the time. Jesus, the Messiah, the Anointed One, the Eternal Son of God, who was born of a woman to become our Savior. Jesus came into the world not to condemn us, but to save us from final damnation. In fulfillment of this precept, Mary's newborn child is given the name Jesus on the eighth day according to the Jewish custom. Joseph and Mary give the name Jesus because that is the name given by God's messenger, the angel Gabriel, before Jesus was conceived in the Mary's womb. This name signifies Jesus' identity and mission. What is this mission? To heal the sick, to bring glad tidings to the poor, and he preaches the joys of heaven. And he gave his life to save us from final damnation. The literal Hebrew means the Lord saves. Save his people. 
since God alone can forgive sins and free us from death. It is God who, in Jesus, His eternal Son, became a man to offer up His life as the atoning sacrifice to save His people from their sins. The Son that Mary bore and both God and man the Word who was God and who became flesh and dwelt among us. And that's it's why Mary is not only called the mother of the Christ, the Greek word for Messiah in Hebrew, but also the mother of God or Theotokos in Greek, which literally means God bearer. Today, we celebrate also the Blessed Mary as the Mother of God. She was the one bringing Jesus to us. And we accepted Jesus into our life. I hope that this new year will be a moment or a time for us to bring Jesus accept him into our life and also bringing people closer to the lord it is the name of jesus can bring can change people's lives we should be also the bearers of jesus for others god bless you all and have a blessed Happy New Year to all of you. And always remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.